Hey everyone, Crystal with Crystal Clear College Planning. I'm doing my video update on my tour for University of Idaho. It's a fairly small school in a fairly small town in Wash um, over on the border of Washington and Idaho. Um, so there is uh, some reciprocity as well between WSU and University of Idaho um, for those that want to have more of a kind of bigger campus feel or go into the city, as they like to call it, um, they will head over to Pullman. Um, but University of Idaho, uh, their in-state tuition is at about 23000 out-of-state is 42000 a year. There is the WUI scholarship opportunity for those that are in our um, uh, region, uh, which is $16,145 at this point in time. So it is a great opportunity in terms of making that school more affordable um, for in Greek life, there um, is about 25 to 30% of students who participate, and they're really big in regards to their service and leadership um, and philanthropy um, is the, kind of the roles of a lot of those organizations on campus. Uh, you are required to live on uh, on the school campus for the first year that you are there, uh, and you can do Greek life in that first year as well. For those that are uh, wanting to have as some religious um, connection as well. There are three religious organizations on campus for you to participate and be a part of. Um, some of the kind of more hands-on opportunities is because they are a land-grant university, uh, they, their top programs are agricultural um, as well as engineering and pre-med. Um, they have two, they have a cadaver lab with two bodies in it, kind of kind of cute, right? Um, WSU has bodies, uh, so weird to say, has six bodies as well, um, but they're reserved for graduate students. So the differentiator at University of Idaho is that undergrads actually get an opportunity to work with those um, and have more of that experience. And so they're definitely more uh, STEM oriented, but they are also a big music community marching band is one of their primary things as well they have a um, big jazz festival and if we're interested in uh, business and finance there is a broker training program where you get ten thousand real dollars that you get to invest in the stock market um, and see what happens so you do have to apply of course for that opportunity but it can be uh, something fun to get uh, some experience in and they do have one of the uh, 17 accredited programs in the country for their PGA golf management. So they do have a golf course um, there and they have 100% job placement. So that's a unique program specifically uh, to University of Idaho that I think also makes them stand out. Uh, their art and architecture program, though, is also fairly competitive. Um, it's something that you do actually have to apply to each year to make sure that you are still interested in meeting requirements of staying in the program. So that is something that um, you can uh, take into consideration, right? Like the, the making sure we're continuing to do well, but they also have some fun perks of doing some study abroad in China and Rome, right? Go check out the architecture in some really fun places. Uh, they do have some uh, an honors program where you have to have a 3.75 minimum GPA. There is a separate application to apply as well as scholarship opportunities and specific housing for that. Uh, so that can be something for those kids that are in the top of the incoming freshman class that, to really be able to consider. Um, and oh, they are big on sports. So they football does fill the stands for them. So that is, there is some sports culture on campus, right? So you got kind of like this little bit smaller, more hands-on kind of STEM oriented. They have a farm with some horses and a whole bunch of other animals because they are more of an agricultural school. They also have a thing called the experimental forest where you can go live in the forest for a semester. It takes three days to hike in or you have to fly in. So that's pretty serious commitment. Um, definitely an opportunity for the outdoorsy types. Uh, and as well, they have a snowmobile project where they buy 
a snowmobile and the engineering kids take it apart, rebuild it, and then they go race it. And so they took it and raced it in Michigan. And so there's like a whole competition that they get to do um, as well. They were doing, and WS, you mentioned this as well, um, that they were making canoes out of concrete and then doing concrete canoe races. And the kids, like the students that were sharing about it, they thought that that was so fun and so cool. I'm sure it'd be really interesting to see a concrete made of canoe going down the river. Um, and kind of a, another final quick fact, too, is that they have the state office of NASA on campus. So you've got a lot of connections and opportunities to be able to take advantage of. Uh, and if you're kind of thinking, I like that maybe a little bit smaller school, smaller town vibe, uh, definitely could be a school worth looking into um, and definitely is more on the affordable side. So I hope you uh, learned some tidbits about University of Idaho and check it out if it's a school you might be interested in. Till next time.